Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Two Minute Warning. As always, I'm Jack Steger. Next to me is Gabe Pereno. Gabe, we've got a few things to talk about, including the MLB and our own special edition of the top five NBA of all time with the NBA playoffs intact. So Gabe, lead us off with the Tigers and the MLB. Yeah, so the Tigers season is further underway. Uh, heading into the New York series, they're four and five. Um, so sitting around that 500 mark, and one of the biggest headlines for me and what I want to see in the upcoming games is Miguel Cabrera. Uh, if many of you who do not know, uh, he's closing in on 3,000 hits in his career, and I think that is going to be exciting to watch as last season we got to witness him hitting over 500 home runs. So another big milestone for Miguel Cabrera in the upcoming games. And then when we look at the young core and what they've, what they've been able to impact on the team so far, we got Spencer Torkelson who's, who currently has two home runs and five RBIs and he's leading the team in both those categories. Uh, but one of the biggest downers so far is the amount of injuries that the Tigers have been able to get in the first couple games, which is obviously not great to see as we see Javi Baez, Casey Mize, and Spencer Turnbull, who was out for spring training. He's still rehabbing from uh, Tommy John's surgery. So uh, unfortunate, and uh, we're just going to have to hope that a lot, or at least the majority of these players um, sort of heal in the upcoming days. I know Javi Baez was on a 10-day uh, injury list, so that's something to look out for. But I'm mostly excited for Miguel Cabrera finally hitting that 3,000 hit. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, like you said, uh, it's great for Miguel Cabrera to reach this milestone, and he's about to. Obviously, we all saw him reach the 500 mark for home runs last year, last season. Um, so it, it's just something that we're all expecting to see as a Tigers fan because, you know, he's been such a great for Detroit sports in the past few years and being on the Tigers his whole career. So that's really interesting to see and really surprising um, for Tigers fans to really have such a big great in Miguel Cabrera staying this long and still performing at an elite level. Um, the Tigers are four and six, like you said, and they were they went one and two in their series against Boston, and they went two and one in their series against Kansas City. So kind of the flip side, um, little 50-50 there with the one and two and the two and one. And then looking forward, their next series is going to be against New York, and then the Colorado Rockies, who are currently ranked number second in the MLB. Um, and then Minnesota, the Minnesota Twins, they play after that. Um, so overall for the Tigers, it's just kind of a waiting game. Um, like you were talking about with the injuries, it's very unfortunate because um, once the Tigers get a full healthy team and once we get some games under our belt and start to get those momentum victories and in those series that we can really perform to our potential, I think the Tigers will start to get some wins and we'll see the potential that this team can have in the future. But as of right now, it's just kind of a waiting game. Everybody's, it's very, very early into the season. And this weather isn't helping either. We did, have one, we did have one postponed game in the Kansas City series as well. So overall for the Tigers, just a lot of things that still need to get figured out. Um, but once everything starts rolling, I think this well-oiled well machine in Detroit will start to move. Yeah, and I totally agree with you on that. Uh, one of the biggest things too for me, I forgot to add in my first statement, is that you know that we just have to get the bats going and a couple of our games this year especially uh, against Kansas City you know it's just been pretty stale on the offensive end for us I just think we need to get the bats going a little bit early jump out to those one two run leads at the beginning of those games and we should be in good hands in the, in the weeks to come so with that Jack we're gonna jump right into the NBA obviously as Jack mentioned at the beginning of the show we will not be covering the first round of the NBA playoffs this week as you know, the results are just changing day by day. We have a couple game results happen 